So the most important part of shooting both photo and video is without a doubt light. And today we're gonna look at the Waylight S03 RGB pocket lights, which as the name suggests are very small and portable, but they can also be very versatile. And so today we're gonna look at what do you get for the money because they're also very budget friendly. We're gonna see, is it worth the money? How well do they perform and who it might be right for? So before we get started, just a quick disclaimer, I was sent these lights from the manufacturer for the purposes of doing a review, but I wasn't paid to do this review and all of the things that I say in this video are my own thoughts and opinions and they don't even get the chance to see it before I publish this video publicly for you guys to watch or anything like that. So the build quality of this, plastic housing, very small, very lightweight and compact. The only things on it are an on off switch and a quarter 20 tripod mount. It's not particularly premium feeling, but because of that, they are also very small and lightweight, much more so than something like the Aperture M C light and in fact I will say that I've been keeping two of these lights in the same space that I had in the past kept just one Aperture MC with the extra diffuser that the Aperture light comes with. Now to be fair, part of the reason for that is because these lights don't come with any extra diffusers. As far as accessories that these lights come with, it's very basic. They have a cold shoe adapter, which is nice. You can screw that into the quarter 20 mount and then put it on something like your camera if you wanna have an on-camera light and then really not even a charger, just an adapter from USB-C to USB-A, so that if you either have a charging block that plugs into USB-C already, or you have something to plug into USB-A, then you can do that, but it does not come with its own charging block at all, which, I mean, at this point, probably most of us have either a charging block for USB-A or USB-C, so it's probably not that big of a deal, but, if you don't, for whatever reason, that is something to keep in mind. This does not come with its own charging block. That's another thing that they do to keep the cost down on this unit. And there's also on the body of the light, like I said, it's very basic. There is no indicator of how much charge you have. And it seems to take a very long time to get to full charge. But there is a light that says that it's charging that shuts off when it does get to full charge. And you're also able to use the light while it's charging. So if you're not sure if you have enough light or enough time on the battery, then you can plug that in and have the light going while you're charging it as well. And they do seem to last a long time once they are fully charged. As far as the interface with these lights go, so there are, again, no controls on the lights themselves. And that means that you cannot control anything about the light, the settings, the intensity, power, or anything through the light itself. You have to go through the app. And I definitely wish that there were some level of control of these lights on the actual light itself rather than having to go through the app even if it was limited even if it was just being able to switch back and forth between the last kelvin temperature that you had it and the last rgb value that you had it set through the app but that is not available if you're not using the app and you turn it on it just goes to a preset Kelvin temperature and preset intensity and I'm not even sure what those settings are because that's overridden as soon as you connect it to the app so you can't even see what those settings are. So you do have to again control everything through the app. There's no other way to get around that and going back to the Aperture MC which again is probably the the best known competitor for something like this light Aperture does have their Citus Link app, which is a pretty good app and very functional. I will say that I surprisingly like the Waylight Pro app better than the Citus Link. So one of the things I really like about this app is that the lights connect automatically. If you have the app open and you turn them on, they will connect automatically. So you can just select whichever group you want the light that you're about to turn on to be in, turn the light on and it automatically connects into that group. There's no need to refresh devices every now and then, which is something that the Aperture's Citus Link app does have to do every now and then, and it's randomly, you don't know how often or when it's gonna happen. You'll have to refresh the devices, that takes a minute. 
these lights automatically when you turn them on will pair to the app when you have it open and that's really nice i was worried about that a little bit at first going into this that it might not be so reliable but i have not had any issues with that at all whether you're connected to wi-fi or wi-fi is not available or anything i've never had a situation where they didn't automatically and very quickly connect to the app and from the app you can control everything about these lights from setting kelvin color temperature to rgb color values to turning on different effects that are built into this light but it is very fast very responsive and again overall i do actually prefer this app over the aperture situs app but there are some things a few refinements that they probably need to do like actually some random parts of the app are still in chinese i'm assuming characters and it's nothing that has affected my ability to use the app but that's definitely something that they should refine and make better. It should be able to have the entire app in whatever language it is that you're using. But usability wise, the only issue that I've really had is that it seems to not really be able to recall scenes that you've saved. That's something that the Citus Link app from Aperture does way better. You can set up a scene and have different lights and different groups having different RGB values or Kelvin temperatures, intensities, whatever it is. And and with this Waylight app, I've tried it and it doesn't recall the settings the way that I've actually saved them. So for instance, I've saved a scene with the color of these lights you see here in the background. And then every time I try to recall that scene through the app, it sets it to like a completely different color, like purple or something. And I'm not sure what's going on there or why it can't save that scene. That's something where it's definitely way behind the Citus Link app. So if you do rely on saving scenes and recalling them regularly, that's a huge downside and something again, where it's definitely behind the competition. But for me, I don't really do that that often or really at all. I only did it for the purposes of testing the app here. So it doesn't make that much of a difference to me in the way that I'm using them. But if you do use them like that, that is a definite downside. So these lights are small and plasticky, not premium feeling budget but they are fully feature packed and it's pretty awesome what they can do so first of all you have full cct control so that you can set your kelvin temperature and control that as well as brightness you also have hsl color control so you can choose different colors there's actually several ways to choose and control color in the app including a color matcher so that you can use your phone's camera to see a color in the scene that you're filming and match that through the app there's also 16 different built-in effects on these lights and with each of them you can control the frequency and the brightness of those effects and overall the performance and what you can get out of these lights considering the size and especially the price of these lights is really really impressive and having just a couple extra lights even small amounts of lights to put different places on your set can make a huge difference so i'm using the app and consider this shot that you see right now with this shot it makes a huge difference and really these lights come very close performance wise to what the aperture mc can do now there are a few definite shortcomings between these lights and the aperture mc and the first of those is just maximum brightness the aperture mc is noticeably brighter at its maximum than what you can get out of these lights to be fair they market themselves as fill lights they're not meant to be a key light they're just meant to add extra light on set in most cases but I will say if you're in like a running gun situation and you need a little bit of light on your subject in an emergency that can these can certainly handle that if you're in a situation where you need to mount the light on camera to get just a little bit of light onto your subject in a darker area they can handle that but it's not what they're meant for but to be fair that's not what the aperture mc is meant for either it doesn't really do well as a key light anyway so then there's also the fact that these lights are completely reliant on the app for usability there is no quick control or ability to change or control anything on the lights without using the app and 
For me, that is definitely a downside in certain situations because if you're filming and just need to quickly change even the brightness or something like that, you have to take your phone out and use the app to control it. And with the Aperture MC, you can adjust basic settings right from the light itself. So I think that is a bit of a disadvantage to these lights here. Also the build quality, definitely nowhere near as sturdy as the Aperture lights, though to be fair, that also means that they are smaller and lighter and potentially easier to take more of them in your camera bag or something like that. Another thing with the build is that the Aperture MC has the magnets built into the back of that light and these do not. And the idea of having magnets on the back of the light to just stick it against anything magnetic is really nice in theory and I think it was a really well thought out thing to add into the Aperture light. However, Personally, I've never actually used the magnets to mount the Aperture MC light to anything. So I think realistically, it depends certainly how you shoot and where you're shooting, but for me, it has not made a difference at all. And then there's also the fact that these lights come with absolutely no extras. There's no extra layer of diffusion like the MC comes with. There's no carrying case. There's nothing else that it comes with. No mounting stickers. It's just the lights and the cold shoe mount, to be fair. Otherwise, these lights hold up really well to what the Aperture MC can do. All right, so who's it for? And realistically, it's hard not to recommend this. I mean, at the price point, you can get three, almost four of these for the price of one Aperture MC. And again, I've used these many times already in shots, photo, and video just to get a little extra light on a subject or a certain part of the frame. And because of the size and convenience, I've actually used these way more just in the past few weeks than I've probably used the Aperture MC in almost two years of owning that. And that's not because that these lights are better, it's just because of the convenience of them being that little bit smaller and lightweight and it's just easier to have around and that makes it more likely that I'm going to use them. So I think it's hard not to recommend these to anybody who's trying to build out their kit, is on a budget and needs a little bit more extra lighting and they're going to be a permanent part of my set now. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Let me know down in the comments below what you think about this light. Have you used lights like these before? What do you tend to use them for and how often do you tend to use them? If you haven't yet, hit the subscribe button. If you are interested in buying these lights or any of the other products I've talked about in this video, in the description down below, I will have affiliate links. If you use those affiliate links at no extra cost to you, it'll help support this channel so that I can keep making videos for you guys. Thanks, see ya. You gotta focus on yourself, on your faith, on your dreams, on your mind, on your health, yeah. You gotta work, never tell, keep your head down, find what you love and excel, yeah. Push and pull and repel any hate, go create what you want, feel compelled, yeah.